right, this is one of my um, Duan old paintings. So this is probably my best one. Uh, beautiful hardwood box that, like, when you move it, the, the pattern shifts in the light. And you can see there, really nice. Um, now this stone, um, it um, features some uh, things like um, what they call uh, ice crack pattern. There's a series of, of faint white lines. Sometimes they're very pronounced, and you can see where um, these are called wormholes, where the white has popped out. Um, doesn't take away from the value. You can see how like there's smudge white smudge marks. It's very common with old pit stones when they have these ice crack lines. Um, other pits can have these, but the old pit ha is the only one to have these. Um, you can see um, here is the scorch marks, the horse tail scorch marks. You can see right there, a faint white line. That's what they call goose feathers. Um, there's a number of them. Um, and, uh, and then here, the stone is actually bluish tint all through here. Um, it's called azure. And that denotes, along with the fish brain freeze um, that's throughout the stone, that the stone is extremely delicate. It's just very soft. Soft, but like um, kind of like rubbing wax candle. It has like kind of a waxy sensation also. And you can see here um, on the bird, um, the detail on its, on its chest uh, of the feathers. Um, Duan can take very, very sharp, uh, small, subtle detail. You can see compared to my fingernail. Um, the bird's wonderfully done, as well as the grapes and the branches and the leaves. Um, this is a um, gouged out leaf. Here's another one over here. Um, the back of it has uh, also um, down the side. One day I'm going to carve my seal in here. You can see the striations. Um, I'm going to wet this down so you can see what the stone looks like um, when wet. And everything will be much more pronounced. Um, you can see the scorch marks much more easily. All the um, all the goose feathers come out. Um, let me see if I can pick up this. My the sunlight's dying. Um, ice crack pattern. Uh, I don't think so. It's just too dark for the camera. Let's see if I can zoom yeah. um, The stone is wonderful. It makes the best ink. Nothing better. Um, this is what they call the, um, the East Hole Stone. There's a old pit. is like a long tunnel and has a series of antechambers. The Great West Hole is the biggest one. Um, but this is an East Hole Stone. Um, it comes from about uh, 75 meters down and about 150 meters in. Here's the oxidation skin or rind. Um, this comes from water. It tells you that the stone was exposed for a long time to water. Um, the other thing about old pit stones is that they, um, uh, because they've been in water and all the clay minerals have been leached out, they don't like to absorb, they absorb a little bit of water, but they don't absorb a lot. So that means your ink is going to stay, it's not going to dry out as quickly. Also, it won't go as rancid, and then these old pit stones, the quality ones, when you grind it, it makes no noise, and they're very easy to clean. Um, there are, there is a Pu stone, which is another type of Duan stone, has what they call new old pit, new Kung Zai pit, new Mazi Kung, but those stones are completely different. They're very gritty. They have a lot of sand in them, and you can notice right away, but they sell them as old pit unscrupulous people so you have to be careful uh, you can definitely see the, the white blotching um, it denotes the old pay it's a wonderful wonderful stone this stone runs about four thousand dollars nowadays maybe a little more um, it's a uh, I mean you can't beat it uh, there's only one stone that can give this stone a run for its money and that's the she stone the old dragon dragon tail pit and that comes down to a matter of preference this is just a wonderfully carved stone. It's beautifully dense. It's wonderfully soft. Um, you can see all the different features. Um, I've been uh, slow working on the stone. Um, one of the things you keep a little bit of water in them. You change it every couple of days or so. Um, it keeps the stone in good condition for grinding. Um, one of the other things you can submerge your stone for a week or so, once a month, um, to keep it in good shape. 
Um, you can really see the, the, the scorch marks, um, the, the blue tint in here. Um, this just tells you that this is a very high quality stone. You probably can't get much better than this. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for some more. I'm going to show off a Juandi um, um, pit stone. And um, I, if you want to comment or questions, uh, um, hit my Twitter account. Thank you very much.